Alright guys, I'm here to show you how to put the games on the main menu uh, on your build. This is the Aeon Knox Silvo skin. Uh, so, uh, you go to skin settings. Uh, I go down to around kit section, add, label weight games. Be done. Change action. Yeah. Oops, wrong one. So that's where you want to do that to uh, always set your background so your background show up on that main menu. So let's do a widget. So I usually do that one on the bottom. Find your system. I usually put the Super Nintendo and the NES there. So. And then that Super NES above it. So I want to go back into the one big list here again. Uh, it's a big list to generate, so it takes a few seconds for it to pop up. So I usually name it NES Games. And this is uh, setting it up your widget. And then uh, I'll set the other one up real quick to. Ah, I picked the wrong one, damn it. <clears throat> so you want to go in there and pick the Super Nintendo, which is towards the bottom. Again, it generates a huge list, so give it a couple of seconds to do it.
So I named this one the same. And then you finish setting it up as well. Set them up the same so they all look the same on the main page. Or it'll look weird. Uh, so that's it with that. Let's go in and I'm going to show you um, how to add a sub menu one to it. Which is the easier one. Oops. Sorry. So I'll add the 32 bit. I usually add all the games I'm going to play systems, which is the ones I grew up around NES, Super NES, Sega, Turbo Graphics, PlayStation, N64, and whatnot. So you want to rename that to. Uh, Sega times back out. Let it rebuild the menu real quick. So here it is rebuilding the menu and it's going to make all the changes I did on the main page. I also did this on a Samsung S2 so it's a little bit faster than some of the other devices out there. Uh, so if it seems a little bit fast uh, that's because it's on the, the device I have it on. So you just let it finish doing this. find the games tab so there it is right there so the sub menu didn't add I have to go back in there and add that so skins again so sometimes it don't go right the first time. You have to go back in there and do it again. Uh, it's just the way of Cody.
So we'll add the 32 bit system again. It did this to me earlier when I was setting it up on my other tablet, so it doesn't surprise me. And then rename it. Uh, you don't need to set the background on that. You should be good. So let it rebuild the menu. This time it took because it built it faster. I don't know why it does that, but it did that earlier to me. So there's the sub menu and it should open straight to the games. And I usually set it up to look like that. Uh, if you want your fan art showing, uh, Go to background and hit fan art, and your fan art should show. Yeah, there it is right there. So the widgets just start loading up here pretty quick. Uh, So uh, I do my own add-on as well for my own build because the unreliable ones out there. So uh, I use Swift Streams for the live television and Supremacy for the wrestling stuff and the games. So they start popping up like the rest of the other widgets do. Just give it a couple of minutes to load. Uh, I didn't set these up or else I'd play it, uh, but here they are. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up. Uh, I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh,